Hello, my friends. Welcome. We meet here in this uh, shadow place of the Cours. And you will notice that this wall is perfectly vegetalized. Today, we are meeting for talking about electrical connectors. Connectors are very often used for connecting lamps, for instance, on the ceiling, on the wall. But you will use them as well in plugs, especially if it's about switches. Uh, but connectors are quite a common subject. For the connectors, we'll go to the atelier. Let's go. Before showing you the different connectors, there's one very important thing when connecting. It is that your cables have to be exactly from the same uh, diameter of uh, wire. So here, these two for instance, this is a two and a half. This is the classical one we are using in the walls or for the plugs. And this is a one and a half. This is for lightning. So never connect two different sections together. big classic here is this piece. This is a domino, we call it in German, or a uh, sucre in French, like a sugar. So very easy. You put both sides together. First here the earth. Then I'm closing firmly so that it holds well. One, and then the brown cable. Now I'm putting together the blue cable. Try to keep it together. So now it's well connected. The weakness of the dominoes, so the dominoes, they are very solid. It's a very reliable solution for connection. The only problem is that they are taking a lot of space. And space you don't have, especially when you have, when you're in plugs.
engineers have invented this little connector. So this is really great because it's very small, it's extremely reliable, and you can do it once and then you can leave it for, for, for decades. So this here you will do differently. You connect one size here, one end. So yeah, but you have to be sure that you're going until the end. So this is for the brown. So you have to push hard, then you can use this tool here. It needs to go. So you see here in this transparency, there is a little piece of uh, copper looking out. This is the ra right way of mounting. And I'm taking for the blue one. And I end with the earth. And now it's well connected. And these are really very solid, so for removing it's really difficult. So you have to push hard. <coughs> so this is really when you're in plugs, inside the plugs, it's really difficult to do. But so these are really connectors you put for once, and then you can forget them. And these connectors may also look like this, so it's the same principle. But here the little reservation is that you can't see what's happening inside. That's why I prefer the transparent ones. And sometimes you need uh, a lot of connections, specifically when you have different switches on the same switchboard. Uh, so it can be very useful to take this one with a bigger capacity of five wires. The last type of connector I wanted to show you is this one. So this is really a great invention, but this I'm using mainly for temporary installations when I'm when I'm making works. Um, because the weak point is the size compared to this, especially when you are inside plugs. So for this reason I'm using this for temporary installations or and also for the grandma test. Very easy to use. You put the wire inside here. You close, next one, you close, so the blue ones are connected now. Now I'm taking the earth, same principle, put this inside until the end, blocking, it's holding, and now the brown ones. Okay, you see, super easy to use and super easy also to, uh, to, to undo. This is the great advantage of these connectors.
That's it my friends, now you know everything about the connectors. Let me remind you as well that I have quite a large number of videos about electricity. And in case you have some interest, I invite you to start with the first one, which is explaining how the cables in a house are placed. See you soon on Happy Hour TV One.